Hi, this is Sahana. In this Entity Framework course series, today's topic is Entities. As you all know, Entity Framework Core is an object relational mapping framework which allows developers to work with databases using c -sharp. If you take an example of employee management system, the system involves so many objects like employee manager, employee address, employee salary, and so many other objects. In relational database, we call such objects as entities. In simple terms, entities represent real world objects. We have discussed entities in the context of relational database. What about entity framework core? In the context of entity framework core, entity is a class that maps to a database table. If you look at this application, we have created classes for employee and manager. If you remember, in our last session, we have created a class by name AppDB context, which is inside data folder. And you all know that this is a must have class to work with database. This class has properties by name employees and managers of type DB set. This DB set takes entity type and we have specified employee and manager as entity type. Entity framework core is going to map these classes to database tables. In this example, employee class will be created as employee table and manager class will be represented as manager table. So in the context of entity framework core, this employee class and manager class are called entities. Entity framework core will create a table for manager and it will create columns for each of these properties because we have included this manager class in DB set property. If you have watched previous videos in the series, you might remember sometimes back we had a session on domain classes. That time we had called these employee and manager class as domain classes. Now I'm calling these classes as entity classes. Don't get confused. Uh, the terms domain class and entity class are overlapping. If we go back to same example, when we just started building employee management system, we knew that employee manager and these are the objects that were involved in employee management system. We just wanted to represent these objects in our object oriented system. That time for each of these objects like employee and manager, we have created classes which represent this manager and employee. That time we call them as domain classes. Later, when we started building database and we set up entity framework core, that time these employee and manager classes, they are involved in database operation. Then we call them as entity classes. If there is any class which is not involved in database operation, we don't call that class as entity class. That time it will be just a domain class. Just to make the things clear, domain classes become entities when they are included as DB set properties. I hope you are clear with entities. But remember, these employee and manager classes are not yet available in database because we are following code first approach and we haven't executed update database command to create database tables. Stay tuned. We are going to learn that in our upcoming sessions. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for your support. If you are not and find the content useful, do consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.